What is going on guys? It is uh, Zomify or Jackson here today and I am on Lights Out's channel and I'm going to talk to you guys about why the COD community is dying and why I think that the COD community is so horrible and why it's been, I don't know, it's been just going really bad lately. And first off, I'm going to talk about why this all started. So I'm just, you know, chilling, playing Advanced Warfare, one of my favorite games to be honest. A lot of people don't like the game, but honestly it's one of my favorites. And apparently lots of people have been trying to do this thing where they mod tack inserts into the game. And lots of trick shotters have been getting into it because they can finally boost to last or get into glitch spots, which I find pretty stupid. The tack inserts weren't in the game for a reason, so modding tack inserts into the game is not really going to do anything. And so I killed this guy and his little friend outside of the map on their tack insert. And then this one guy messaged me. You guys will see the message right now. And it says, basically he just messaged me straight up and he said, get cancer. And... I was kind of confused. I didn't understand why he would even send that. Then he said, jump off a cliff, dumbass. And then I was like, why are you guys even mad? And th that right there, I knew something was about to happen. And legit, I remember five minutes after that happened, I left the game. I was just went to go into the bathroom. I came back. I looked at my Twitter feed, and they were just spamming me with messages. And they they just were being so toxic to me. And I, I was just replying back to them like, what is wrong with you guys? Are you guys legit this toxic and salty just because I killed you off your attack insert in a game? Now, they kept going on, and they and the thing is that they made a lot of offensive posts. Like, he's, like first of all, my sister is black, so when he said the N-word, I took offense to that because my sister doesn't like when anybody says that word. So when him saying that, I took really offense, a big offense to that. And then they act like they're 14-year-old girls, but this one guy says he's 32. Now, I don't know if this guy is legit about this, but I just think that that's really immature. I don't know. that. that is. Uh, what do you think about this, Lights? What's up, guys? I'm Lights. Uh, my intro is like two minutes in. but yeah, uh, two minutes into the video. My two, bad. Two minutes in? No, it's fine, buddy. But uh, pretty much, you guys, if you're wondering why I'm uploading this, is because you know I run a team. I have a team that I just started. And growing up in the COD community for the last seven or eight years, I've always idolized some teams. I've always watched content teams and sniping teams, despite the fact that I've always been a crappy sniper. But I, I do like content. And for, for somebody, I, I don't even know where to start with this, because the sniping community in, in particular, and every community is toxic before I say this, but the sniping com community has this kill yourself, get cancer, drink bleach kind of vibe to them that they like to spread around. And to be honest, I don't know why. I know some of it has to do with face. Some of it has to do with smaller teams. But for somebody to mod out of the map with tack inserts, to hit clips, first of all, are they, are they using these clips for montages? Yes, so are, That's kind actually. of pathetic, first of all. Because the guy, actually, I looked at one of his uh, videos on his channel, and there's this um, challenge going out, like an Obey member, his name's Obey Sean, I think, yeah, he put out this challenge where everyone has to hit clips with a certain clan tag for his 40k montage, and I looked at his, this guy's clips, and he was using tack inserts and was, like, doing all this stuff, and I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm like, you got me, who, I've been sniping ever since, like, Modern Warfare 2, and mm -hmm. I just got in the trick shot, and you got me who actually wants to go play free-for-all, legitly get the last, and legitly hit a shot, and then you got these kids over here who boost the last, that's pathetic to me. I, I find that pathetic. I mean, like, tack inserts were not in AW for a reason, so you modding it into the game is just making it worse. I mean, that, that's just pathetic to me. And we've always had people who set up fake clips, etc., and we've had people who, who are very toxic with the way they, they treat one another, but... The reason I'm uploading this video, guys, if you're on my channel, obviously you're on my channel, but the reason I'm uploading this is just the fact that people who are leaders and teams and leaders in this community of groups of people, they need to start monitoring because, first of all, I've told my members, one time they say, get cancer, do this, whatever, you're out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to have you represent me, my name, that's something tied to me. Like, And to see this lucid guy here say... You know, I, I'm 32 and I hate the N-word, you know. That's downright straight-up disrespectful and racist. And that that's unacceptable. You would not be representing me as a team. And if the leader of Lucid let them in there, that is completely sad to see. It's sad to see this because well, not only am I older than both these guys, but I'm only 15. And one of the guy, if he's actually serious and said that he's 32 years old, then that's just plain apathetic to me. And the one kid said he was 16. Agreed. Exactly. The one kid said he was 16, 
I find it funny. I'm only 15 years old, and I'm much more mature than both of them combined. Exactly. I just find this whole entire story pathetic. If the guy is really 32, it is absolutely sad that he would act like that. And and the other guy is just... How old do you say he was 16? He, was, he said he was 16. Yeah, it's still pretty sad. You shouldn't act like this. Kids think that they can say whatever they want on social media. And we see so many cases of people getting arrested because of, you know, suicide, you know, agging on and stuff like that. And there there are actual cases like that. People do get charged. I mean, we saw that with the soccer uh, player not mm-hmm. one go a couple yes, weeks that, ago. That was, that was a horrible Attacked thing. his kid and did you he hear took about, the strange shots and he took him to court. Did you hear about the the one story, actually? Uh, one guy who was in Obey, he literally just got picked up to Obey. He left Obey and then because he, he got in a game with some other Red member. Mm-hmm. And then he told, and I think the Red member, he had a kid who died. And then he he messaged him on Twitter and said that, I don't even like to say this, but he told he, he said that he was glad that his kid died and he hoped that his other got oh. cancer. Which is horrible. Which is completely horrible. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I just wanted to make this video uh, not to expose these guys, but just talk about the COD community overall, just the toxicity that's in it, and the sniping community, you know, overall too. You know, it's, it's a big portion of that. And uh, I want to thank Zombie or Jackson for uh, for joining me with his story here because I mean that pretty much puts proof into my topic. I mean, I was just trying to talk solo about it. But um, thanks for, for joining me. Anything else you'd like oh, no to problem, say? No problem, dude. Um, thank you for putting me on your channel, Lights. Um, anyways, I guess we'll see you guys later. And... Make sure you check out my social media links down in the description. Subscribe to me and Jackson. Oh. Uh, he's going to be in there, too, because he's my buddy. So let's, let's go show him some, some Lights love over there. But anyway, until right. next time, guys, I'm Lights. Peace out. And it's been Zombify. Peace out, guys. Later.